Good morning, y'all. It's Saturday. Like I said, I've been a bad vlogger and I didn't record anything on Friday. Me and Gabby are making breakfast, getting ready because my family's coming into town to celebrate Father's Day and see Sophie. Sophie is one month old today. Happy one month. Sleep good. Last night was some kind of miracle because Sophie slept for three and a half hours the first session and three hours the second session. That's been the best night's sleep that she's gotten so far. Too bad you can't capture the smell. Hey, did you get a bone this morning? A whole bone? You wanna eat. her one month outfit. <laughs> so the other day Gabby was taking a nap out here on the patio and she hears this snap and then two dogs just come flying at her barking and like running directly at her. She runs inside like totally freaked out. You know, could you imagine getting woken up that way? So what had happened was, the two fence posts out there, the dog snapped underneath them and came crawling onto the fence into our backyard. These two fence posts right here, I just got done replacing them. The neighbor dropped off some new ones. Put some screws in there instead of nails. Hopefully they'll stay for the time being. This week was a rough week for me in particular. I went back to work at Dell and I was helping Gabby at night with the baby until 2.30 in the morning. Then I got to sleep from then until 8 a.m. and then going to the office. Obviously I was real tired when I got there so I started drinking like three cups of coffee. Then with Christian Guzman's new energy drink out, I'd have one of those in the afternoon. Then it was time to work out and I'd have a pre-workout drink. Obviously that was a lot of caffeine and it was catching up to me with the low calorie diet, extra caffeine and working out and staying up late with the baby. It was tough and it took a toll on my body. Um, Wednesday and Thursday I was completely shut down. I had stomach pains, a headache, body aches and I decided to cut down the caffeine at that point in time. Then I started feeling better. It took me all the way until really today, Saturday, to feel 100% again. And it's my first workout back. A lot of little things affecting the cut and affecting my health in this time, but I gotta be flexible, you know? That's what you gotta do when you have a newborn child. So I'm back in the gym today. I'm gonna make the most out of these final two weeks of the cut. Still try to come in as good as I can but I know that I've lost some ground. Ultimately, I'm just happy that I'm feeling back to normal. It was scary to think that caffeine can really uh, hit you that hard. So I'm no longer doing all of that caffeine in a day. I'll do my coffee and my pre-workout drink, no more. Um, if I want an energy drink, I'll replace pre-workout with energy drink um, just to limit my caffeine intake. Anyways, today's workout, we're starting the cycle over again. It's push A, which is chest and triceps. I'll post a separate video detailing my program, how I came up with it, what's in it, show you everything and describe it all for you. So look forward for that. So next up, chest and triceps. I'm one exercise in. It's hot as balls out here today. I think it broke triple digits, over 100 today. Just had my dad out here spot me on bench and my performance has been terrible. Uh, ever since I took a couple days off this week when I had uh, all those caffeine withdrawals, my strength is gone, like fucking gone. Um, I'm ready for this cut to be over just because I'm ready to lift heavy again, ready to stop feeling weak, ready to quit starving myself. Dinner time with the family, we got pizza, I'm sticking to the diet, check it out. Look at what I'm missing out on, oh my god. This is the good stuff, right here. I'm gonna be honest, I've tried to start and stop this vlog about a million times this weekend, going back and forth about how much I wanted to record and not. Today is a special day, regardless of whether this is the first clip 
we're in the middle of a vlog. Today's Father's Day. I've got my father here with me today, and it's my first Father's Day. So we're gonna go celebrate. This is my claim to fame on Father's Day. <laughs> Sophie. Sophie. Who came one month and one day ago. Sophie has a special outfit on. Isn't that right? Isn't it right? <laughs> That's the cool part. I'm a natural. <laughs> I got it from Roman. <laughs> <laughs> It's shampoo that gradually reduces gray. Aww. <laughs> From Kelly. Oh, this would be, this would be nice. Aww. 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 Oh, yeah. That's so precious. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah. That's awesome. The colors are good. Oh, this one. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah. Well, let's see if it fits. So this is one of my YouTubers oh. brands. I like his clothing. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> she wrote from Sophie. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for shitting on you so much. I just don't know how else to say I feel safe and comfortable with you. <laughs> Sophie. We had the same idea, so. Oh, yeah. Office yeah. picture. That's a good picture. D Dad oh always says, I miss Sophie, I need to pick up one. Very pretty. <laughs> I need a cup. Yeah. Yeah, we can babysit you. If you like those gifts, smash, smash, smash. Smash that like button! Oh my gosh, world's youngest looking grandpa. I know. <laughs> well, after he uses his shampoo. Oh! <laughs> so my parents just left. We had celebrated Father's Day with my mom, my dad, and my sister. I want to thank them for all the gifts and helping me celebrate my first Father's Day. And also a big thank you to Gabby. She got me this awesome Elfleet shirt. Love the color, love the logo, love the fit most of all. Alfleet shirts are designed differently than regular shirts. They're wider up top and skinnier down here, and it makes it just feel so much better. Oh, they're also not too short. Anyways, now I'm gonna go out to the home gym and do my whole eight workout, this back and biceps. I only have two weeks left in the cut. Yesterday, I had a pretty shitty workout. Today, I'm determined to have a better one and continue pushing hard until July 1st when my cut ends. I had a new low weigh in this cut today, 175.2 pounds. I'm not very far off from that 172 pound goal. I think I can get there. So I'm not gonna record this workout. I need to focus and have a good one. I've got an important channel update coming soon. I've got some decisions to make about the vlog, this YouTube channel, and kind of the future of what it is that I'm gonna be doing here. And I need your feedback as well. So I'm gonna talk about this in uh, another segment. But look for it coming soon.